Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome back to another great episode of Pink Tool Girl. Today, we are going to be talking about, oh la la, French decorating ideas for 2021. So, if you want to get started on some very easy, budget friendly decorating ideas that are French inspired, grab a cup of coffee or a tea, whatever your drink of pleasure is, and let's get started. For budget-friendly home improvement advice where we help you save more so that you can do more in your home, make sure you hit that bell and subscribe today so that you don't miss out on a single episode. Know your eyes are not playing tricks on you. I will be in two different outfits during this particular video because last week's video, which I'll give you a card right here, was awesome, but it went on and on and on because I didn't realize how much I was inspired by the French. Hmm. So for today, I broke it down into four projects, three of which I have done before and I'm gonna explain those briefly. And then one, which you'll notice behind me, I did today very inexpensively. So I cannot wait to get started on these four budget-friendly, French-inspired decorating ideas for 2021. One of the first DIY projects and we're gonna show you before and after picture is to go to Goodwill and get one of the cast off frames that are on there. It doesn't matter what is on the canvas itself at first, just buy it if it has a really pretty frame. And when I say really pretty, like this one is now glittered, but it's pretty much just a uh, very simple, easy frame, I would maybe step it up, up a little bit and see if it has anything like this, like it has a little bit of ornamentation in it. But doesn't matter what color it is, doesn't matter what's on the canvas, buy it, and then use our principles that we talked about. Paint it gold or a muted tone that's gonna go with your house. And then on the actual canvas, you can paint that with a neutral color. There was a, uh, a uh, hunting scene on the canvas that I'm showing you right there. All I did was paint it white, and then I chose to do lines in a verse in a script, but you could do something as simple as uh, something, uh, a stencil on there. You could do some fleur de leaves, or, and actually I think I used one of these two on that one, and you could do your own French inspiration or use some of that French script that we talked about, but tie in the colors of your home and maybe the theme of your home and you can have a new canvas art as well as something that's French inspired. A second project that we did, and this is definitely more time consuming, but it, oh, it was so much fun to do and I love it and I don't wanna give up the piano as a result of it, but I had a very ugly piano we painted it all white with chalk paint, a muted tone, and we're gonna talk about the, the whole white palette of a French-inspired home in another episode, but we painted it white, and then I took, again, that gold accent color that brings in that French-inspired modern look to it, and we stenciled in various places. So I took key elements where I wanted, um, so the lift of the piano, and I did one very large gold stencil there, and then um, around the edges, I just did some little uh, gold kind of around the edging, um, just to give it a nice elegance. Another super, super easy DIY project that you can do to get some French inspiration into your home. Most bricks are either a brown or a red if they were here in America in the 1900s as far as fireplaces are concerned. So what I did was I took these ugly bricks that we had all of our home and again, using that gold color, uh, I painted the brick on, now I did, I had two different fireplaces. One time I just brushed it on, so it kind of had two tones, and one I just went with a solid gold color. And then because I was not inspired to make anything DIY, I went out to my local TJ Maxx and I bought several pieces, a vase, I bought a box, and all of them had felt or writing that was French script, and I added that to the base of the fireplace to kind of really enhance that fireplace. So sometimes just the simplest little painting of the brick and then adding elements that you bought can really set your house up to be that French inspired look that you desire. So I started this project out with going to Tuesday Morning, which is a store in our local area, and I bought a pre-packaged ribbon DIY kit. It was $6. And the reason that I liked it so much was that it came with all the ribbon that I would possibly need to 
put this project together. It was nine feet as far as the anchor was concerned. And then it had four different ribbon types of color and pattern in order to go with it. So as you can see, I anchored it. Now I could have used my drill. If you see my pink tool girl, Kate put pink tool girl toolbox there. I could have used a drill and drilled it into the wall, but I really didn't want to because I wasn't sure if that was kind of the centering that I was going for. So I tied it to the already existing shelves on the wall. Then on my desk, I have a dry erase board so that I could constantly mark my desk and then erase it without ruining it. So that's something that we'll talk about in a later video. But I marked off with my tape measure, again, something you definitely need in your toolbox, and I marked off 12 inches. Then knowing by the package what uh, amount of ribbon that I had, I decided that each ribbon would be 24 inches. So I just doubled up on doing the ribbon and then I cut it at 24 inches. And I did that repeatedly in order to get enough of the ribbon so that I could go the entire nine foot span that you'll see behind me. I wanted to mention that you also wanna have a sharp pair of scissors in that toolbox of yours because a project like this where you're gonna cut ribbon, you don't want that frayed hanging off of the end of it, unless that's the look you're going for, but uh, you do wanna have a sharp pair of scissors and I talk about why and what kind I use also in that free download that you can get in the description below. So getting back to the project, after I cut all of my my ribbon and I wanted to make sure that I liked the length of it with that 24 inches that I was going for I you need to make sure that you put the pattern facing forward and then loop behind the ribbon and pull it down so it ends up looking like a, a men's tie at the top but then when it hangs down when that ribbon hangs down you've got that pattern going for you obviously when it is the solid color it doesn't matter but when you are you are using the pattern then you want to do that. So I went ahead and I cut the rest of the pieces. I wanted to make sure, I wasn't sure at this point how many I was going to have to cut if I was really going to use the whole ribbon package. And it comes to find out that yes, um, if I left about two to three inches in between each one of the ribbons, I did end up using the entire packet of ribbons and it, ex it went the whole expansion of that nine foot ribbon base. So in the end, it took about 14 minutes to do this project, and that is from opening the package to cutting everything and then assembling it on the actual base of the ribbon. I am extremely pleased at this $6 project that was so easy to do, and it just added a little bit more of some French inspiration to what was already a fun room and fun office. And I hope that you enjoy it every time that I do a video because it's gonna be up behind me until I find something else to do that will add to this set piece. So I want to encourage you that if you have, if you have a store like a TJ Maxx, a Marshalls, a Tuesday morning, something that has those pre-assembled projects, if it has some French inspiration, whether it's in this case, the ribbon has the Eiffel Tower in it, but it also has one of the patterns of the floor de leaf. Or you could do this by just getting your own ribbon and assembling this uh, nice DIY project for whatever room you choose to put it in. With the project behind me, I'm still considering whether I should add some crystals in between each one, kind of hanging them down there. So let me know in the comments below, should I add the crystals? Because we talked about last week how the French, um, if you're going to go for that, just, I always told my theater students, when you have one minute to give a stereotype, how would you do that? And uh, one of the words that I keep thinking about with the French is just extravagant or elegant. And I think that just says elegant. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. But thank you for joining us today. We are so, so delighted to bring you information each week. If you have questions about French Inspired or anything that you want to know that we're working on, we would love to hear in the comments below as well. Let us know. So what can you do next? You can go ahead and click on the link below to subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell so you're notified each week when we deliver great, great content. And then you could also go in the description below and check out our 
Pink Tool Girl, top 10 tools that you should have in your tool book, toolbox if you are a homeowner. So make sure you go there. We would love to be just partners with you. So make sure you click on that subscribe button. Go ahead and get that free download of top 10 tools that you want in your toolbox. And we'll see you next week.